Listen up. I'm Brian Pond. Amanda. This is Take Me Out Food Reviews. If you can do us a favor and you've been viewing for a while, please subscribe. It will help. And once we get over 100 subscribers, we can start messing with some stuff. More, more features unlock. After we get 1,000, we can just monetize because we've got more than enough minutes viewed at this point. But 98% of y'all are not subscribed. So what? come on, guys. At, at some I like I hope today's the day we earn it and stuff. I was like, you're watching us. Why ain't you subscribing? <clears throat> yeah, you're watching us though. Like, why? Why? Why you no subscribe? But so, today we are trying out Freddy's Concretes. So, Freddy's a custard place, steak burger place. Almost everything on their menu is amazing. Hmm, and this is definitely one of them. Yours is chocolate with coffee. Yes, I am quite happy with that. And what is yours, dear? Vanilla with cheesecake. Cool. So, the concrete mixes are pr pretty awesome. We're not going to... This isn't going to be a video with 400 reviews of their different combinations or however many you can do. So, we're just doing the flavors we like. I love me some chocolate and coffee, and Amanda loves herself some vanilla and cheesecake. Ain't that right, baby? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. And we will be honest, this was a take me out, out food review. We did have a meal before reviewing this, so that's about 12 minutes. So that's the reason it's melty. But even melty, it is delicious. Mm. I feel like kind of, almost, I would say this almost invalidates our review because like obviously you want to have your concrete and when it's concrete. But... It's definitely good. It's our. It's good as it is. There's still plenty of solid floating in here. So boom, boom, boom. Yeah, I'm gonna have to pop this lid. Mistakes were made. Put that off into the void. Hmm. Definitely chocolate and coffee. Oh yeah, you can taste the coffee in it. Mm-hmm. Almost kind of like a mocha, almost. Mm-hmm. Woo! Brain freeze. <laughs> um. Yeah. Um. For what I ordered, I couldn't expect a better flavor pro profile. I'm going to give this one just a straight 10 out of 10. It's exactly what I wanted, which was chocolate and coffee. <clears throat> the coffee has a nice premium taste to it. I would say that I'd be surprised if this is below grade, if this is below grade two, which if you're familiar with coffees, it's on a grading scale. So yeah, I would think it's premium. I would say it's right there with, with Dunkin' Donuts coffee, which is also a great coffee if you aren't aware of that. That's my go-to. Hmm. So yeah, uh, how do you feel about yours, dear? Because you got a different experience than I did. Um, the cheesecake is very, very subtle. Um, it's very, very light in flavor profile for the cheesecake. Um. So while it's there, and you do have like little bits of like the cheesecake and the graham cracker floating around, you're tasting more of the vanilla. <clears throat> And then the actual cheesecake itself. Mm -hmm. So for me, for the vanilla cheesecake combo, uh, while the flavoring of the cheesecake is there, it's just not strong like coffee. So for me, mine's an 8 out of 10. Like, it's there, it's just not the strongest. Well, how's the vanilla? Is it, is it vanilla or is it like a sweet cream with a with a whiff of vanilla? Well, I took a little bit of it in the car waiting um, to get home. Um, it actually did have that a little bit of that vanilla profile. Like the vanilla was there, yeah. so it wasn't like straight up like sweet cream. But once melted, yeah, it's definitely like more of the sweet cream. Okay. So. So obviously. Uh, so for takeout food, food in general, we have a rule of thumb of your food should be able to last 30 minutes. There are obvious exceptions, and one of those is freaking ice cream in the South. 
it is November, so it's a little cooler, but yeah, this melted a bit. I absolutely love mine. I, I'd have it again. Yeah. M Amanda enjoyed her still, so 8 out of 10 is a, is a recommendation. Yeah, so. I do recommend it. It's just, they have so many mixed add-ins that it's just, use their website first. And literally write down or, you know, take note of, the, okay, this is the concrete base, which will either be chocolate or vanilla, and this is the add-in, or add-ins, because there are so many. I recommend that, so every time I go to the drive and then, um, like, see that list, and it's just like, okay, which one goes, you know, it's just, it's just too many. So, yeah, I recommend viewing it before you go. Social anxiety tips. Amanda's like, oh, God, choices in front of people, no! <laughs> But yeah, I it, but yeah, these are actually really good, and that chocolate coffee was was really good. I actually did like that one. Yeah, uh, that 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 was a ten out of ten. Like, like yeah. I like yeah. As you can see, I slammed mine. It's gone. It's in my stomach now. I have water over here, but I don't want the taste to leave my mouth because there's no like usually. All right, so I would say the difference between a make or break for for any coffee ice cream. Is if it has a bad aftertaste, because if it has a bad aftertaste, that means they made it with crappy, poorly brewed coffee. That's definitely not the case here. Cool. So uh, I think that's about all we have to say about that. I think the final word is go get yourself some Freddy's Concrete stuff. Freaking amazing. I'm Ryan Pond. Amanda. And this has been Take Me Out Food Ooh. Reviews. Boom. <laughs> We'll see you next video. Bye.